Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. If you really like the videos, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel and even press the bell button to get the regular updates. In the last few videos, I have discussed about the importance of transmission medium and how the transmission medium is classified into guided and unguided transmission medium. Then guided transmission medium is again classified into three types. One is twisted pair cables, coaxial cables and fiber optical cables. So in the last two videos, I have discussed about the twisted pair cables in detail and how the twisted pair cables is again classified into shielded twisted pair cables and unshielded twisted pair cables. In the last video, I have discussed about the coaxial cables and the structure of the coaxial cables and the application of the coaxial cables. I hope you have watched all those videos. If you have not watched that video, I request you to go and watch those videos and come back to this video for better understanding. In this video, I want to discuss about the fiber optical cables which comes in the category of guided transmission medium. Let me discuss about the fiber optical cables first. Then I will discuss about the structure of a fiber optical cable. A fiber optical cable is made of high quality of thin glass and is used to transfer signals in the form of light. Okay, so it will transfer the data in the form of light. So that's why the transmission speed is very high as compared to the twisted pair cables and the coaxial cables. It consists of the core and also cladding and also outer coating. So if you look at the structure of the fiber optical cables, you will see the three major parts. One is the core and another one is the cladding and another one is the outer coating or jacket. Now what is the purpose of the core? The core will consist of the thin lines which will be like human hair like that, that much small diameter to be there. They will be used to transfer the data using the form of light. And then you can ask me what is the purpose of cladding. The purpose of the cladding is that the core is surrounded by a cladding that reflects the light inwards to avoid the loss. If you see the, if you look at the cladding, okay, you have a cladding like this and in the core the light is transferring. So if the light is transferring, then what it will happen, the cladding will reflect it back. So if light goes, then it will again reflect it back so that you will not lose any signal. Okay, so the cladding that reflects the light inwards to avoid the loss. So the cladding will help us to, to avoid the signal loss. Okay, now the outer coating or jacket is a thin plastic seal which will be helpful for us to protect the from the outside environment. Okay, now what are the advantages? The advantage is that low attenuation meaning is that the signal can be transferred for a long distance also without any problem. Okay, attenuation means what? The signal will lose its strength. Okay, however in the fiber optical cables it can traverse from a long distance so that's why we will call it as a low attenuation and it is suitable for noisy environment. Okay, in noisy environment the twisted pair cables and coaxial cables does not work well as compared to the fiber optical cables and it has less electromagnetic interference as compared to the twisted pair cables and the coaxial cables. Okay, but what are the drawbacks? Okay, now the drawbacks is that difficult to install and maintenance. It is very easy for us to purchase but however it is very expensive as compared to the twisted pair cables and coaxial cables that is what the another drawback. It is expense okay because I want the data to be transferred very high rate so I will purchase it but the problem is that it is very difficult to install and maintenance also if you see that the fiber cuts will happen again to join them it will be very difficult so that's what the drawbacks is it is very expensive 
and it is very difficult to install and also maintenance also. I hope you have understood the structure of the fiber optical cables, what is its advantage and what is its disadvantage. If you still have any doubts related to this video, feel free to ask the questions in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. If you really like my teaching, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching my video. Have a nice day.